Hello everyone and welcome back to our Floris campaign. We don't have anything in the quest log to do. We're not on any campaign right now with a specific lord, so I think I'm just gonna go to the east and pick a couple fights on my own again. Until someone else gives me orders to do otherwise. Enemy wait, whoa, whoa. Enemy patrol spot near Ergelan Castle. Ooh, okay. That's close by. There they are. Hello. I would rather fight you on the out in the open. So come out here. And then I will kill you. Are you gonna raid the city? Oh no. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. There we go, there we go. Let me get this way. Here we go. Now we'll chase them out into the open. Banner under Sheik Consencio Manier. Is that this guy? Yeah, it is. We're gonna get him. Okay. Oh, look at that! We also are gonna have some assistance. Nice. Let us plan our battle. And we shall have this repeat three times. And then this three times. Prepare orders. Okay, dispatch. Let's do it. All right. Oh, this is really dark. Okay. Let's advance our position here. We'll get the archers up there. We'll get the infantry right there. Javelins right there. Let's get our cav up on this hill. Is this guy just going to walk in? Or is he following my lead? I think he's following my lead. What? Eh, never, never mind. Never mind, he's not. Because then that cab would be going over there. Okay, that's alright. I would. Alright! Did I even show off this weapon? I did some leveling up on my own, and I got this weapon, this giant two handed weapon that looks like it came out of Dynasty Warriors. I totally forgot to talk about that. <laughs> hey, by the way, I have this giant weapon here. It looks really cool. Kind of out of place. A little bit. But it's all good. Let's have the archers move here. Javelins there. Infantry up. Cav, let's move you up. They're charging in. Let them take the damage. We will take the glory. Let's go in level up my polearm skill here. And Yatsa. You didn't die? Oh, you prick. Alright, Kev. Let's do this. Nice. Nice block, sir. And... Yatsa. Aha! No need to have our infantry go in. Alright, let me pull out the pick. It's just a giant weapon on my back. Who wants to get knocked out? You want to get knocked out. You want to get knocked out. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Back of the head. Yay, we win. Aw, oh, we got a wounded slave hunter. 16 wounded, that's all? I guess it did kill a couple. Hey, yay, we improved our relations. Alright. We are so cool. I need level ups. Nothing. Let me... Oh, this was a, a good suggestion. Someone suggested that I just put these weapons... I won't put that one. But put these in the... Um, inventory here. You know what? Actually, let me... Let me keep that. I mean, this is cool. But I don't know if I actually want to use it. No, I should use that. We'll put this away. Put that in there. 
I'll keep those. And then I let my heroes access. They take what they can. They probably can't take the shields. They can. They know they can. Their skill isn't high enough. Also, they're not programmed to take two-handed weapons, so I guess I need to keep those anyway. Crap. Never mind. All right. Um, guess that's all we do. Let them collect the rest. We now have only 13 prisoners. Not that many. We could get more. Let's go search for more. What's this? Deserters? That's eh, fine. Prepare, dispatch, plane. There we go. Alright. Ooh, nice flat open ground. I like it. Let's see. Which way are they coming from? Right over there. Let's advance a little bit. Infantry advance. Javelins advance. Cavalry advance. Wow, we are really down on Nords. That's all we have left. Five people. Ugh. We'll let them approach a little bit. Send our infantry at them. Have charge infantry charge. Yeah, knock them all unconscious. We have a ransom broker to meet. Wow, that was very fast. Holy crap. Okay. <gasps> they they always target those. Why? <laughs> These are always like the first to fall. Poor ladies. Capture all. Upgrade. Okay. Oh, they have nothing. Well, I am happy with the amount of prisoners we have now. We will return to the city of Aluka. Swadia and Nords have made peace. Oh, good for you guys. What the heck? Oddval now. That's cool gear. I like that, Oddval. That looks like another hero. <laughs> I fear you will just die in my company. Uh, no ransom broker. Okay. Whoops. Marketplace, sell items automatically continue. Do they have any food? Just bread, huh? Okay. Oh, you know what? I was told I need to buy the businesses and that I need to find the guildmaster first. So actually, let's go... That's not where I want to go. Take a walk around the streets and try to meet the guildmaster. Are you the, you're the weaponsmith. Um, this looks like a goods merchant. Oh, that's guildmaster. Nice. Good day. I wish to buy land in this town for a productive enterprise. We think you'll know and trust you, and I think I can find someone to sell you the land you need. A couple of things to keep in mind. Skilled laborers are always at a premium, so I doubt that you will be able to open up more than one enterprise here. In order to make a profit for yourself, you should choose a commodity which is in relatively short supply, but for which the raw materials are cheap. What sort of enterprise would you like to start? Oh boy. To hmm. I'll get back to you. Hold on. I'm assuming I can check that just by going to the <laughs> going to the arena. 
go into the marketplace and the goods merchant and see what they have a lot of. So they have a lot of wine. They have wool, but that's pretty expensive. And they have velvet. And they have leather. So probably I'm looking for wine. Because that's pretty cheap. So now let's go to you. Let me buy some land. Okay. What do you... There's nothing from wine. Okay. Well. I'm probably going about this all wrong. A weavery and dye works to make velvet from silk and dye, which I did not see. This one I can do. They do apparently have wool. Hold on. Is there a better way I can check this? Overall, the wealthiest town in Calradia is known to be Rikovet Rivacic. Here in Velusa, we are poorer than 17 towns and richer than four. <laughs> Jeez. In terms, there we go. In terms of local industry, the most productive town in oh, Calradia is known to be Yalen. Here in Veluca, we produce less than four towns or produce more than 14s. The production is, of course, affected by the supply of raw materials as well as... What raw materials do you have? Output of the surrounding villages. The town of Dirim is the... Okay. The villages produce less than... The, uh, you're not telling me what you produce. <laughs> Again, I don't know. Okay. How's trade around here? Okay, here we go. We have shortages of salt, raw silk, smoked fish, grapes, and some other commodities. Oh my god. The roads around here are very dangerous. We have heard the travelers from... Or whatever. Looks like just a bunch of news on people being attacked. Um... Okay. You know what? Screw it. We have a ton of money. Let's do... This one. Wool cloth from wool. Very good, sir. The land and the materials on which you may build your wool weavery will cost you 6,000 dinars. Right now, your wool weavery will produce wool cloth worth 512 dinars each week. While the wool needed to manufacture this batch will be 250. Labor upkeep will be 120. I should guess you profit... Oh, it tells us right here. Oh, okay. So what's the what's the best one? Profit would be 96 dinars a week after an investment of 1500. 172. Is that going to be the best one? Three. Two, 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 two. Profit of 241. And the wool was 142. Profit will be 68. That's very bad. 190. 288 after an investment of 3,500. I guess that's the highest, right? Olives, 244. <laughs> that's actually in the negative. Alright, iron. Here's my money. Take my money. If you screw me over, I'll kill you. Let's leave. Okay. Let's go to Jokala. See if we can buy a business there. But first, see if we can find a ransom broker. Nope. You know what? I could afford that crazy knight that I met earlier in this series. That was like 20,000 gold. I can actually afford him. Huh. I just thought about that. Hello, Guildmaster. I'm looking for a productive enterprise. 90, 148, 205, 60, 340. There we go. So it's olives. All right, olives is the top. 284. That's a negative. Nope. Uh, nope. All right. So that was um, olives. Olives. Yes. Here's my money. Thank you. All right. Let's go to Yalen. Yalen. Mm -hmm. 
And, oh, we don't know the Guildmaster yet. Okay, that's fine. We'll find him. We'll hunt him down. Oh, I get my horse for this one. Just, it's so out of place, this weapon. That's, well, well, whose weapon would this be? This would be uh, Guan, Guan Yu's, I guess. If anybody follows the Dynasty Warriors game. Merchant Armorer. Oh, Guildmaster. You know, this also reminds me, I forgot that you can find that... I don't know if it's in this mod, but I remember in the vanilla game, they had the hidden samurai armor you had to track down in... I think it was two or three different cities around Calradia. I forgot all about that. Ah! Sir! You must discuss something. I need you to get me a good enterprise. 120, 161, 327. That's hides? Alright, hides. Profit would be 522? What was that, iron? That was not iron. What was that? There we go. Silk and dye. Alright. Silk and dye it is. Here's the money. Thank you. That was a huge investment. I did not read that part. 10,000. Holy crap. What am I at right now? Well, we'll check that in a moment. Come on. Where's the ransom? There you are. Okay. That's kind of hoping for more. All right. Visit your dye works. Really, I didn't realize I could visit my own businesses. Yes, this is a beautiful place. Hello, Master Dyer. We hope to begin production in about seven days. All right. Well, could carry on. If you don't make me money, I'll kill you. And leave. I'm down to <laughs> 45,000 dinars. Yeah, I think I'm still all right. Where else should we go? Ux Uxal? Maybe go get some more prisoners. Yeah, let's go get some more prisoners. Yes! Let's go. Well, hello? What is it? Oh, okay. I've also had suggestions that I should join the Rodox as a vassal. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Because eventually, I like if, if you become a vassal, you're a vassal for life, right? And if I betray them, they're all going to hate me a lot, right? Because <laughs> the end goal, again, is to get the queen, her kingdom of Swadia, marry her, of course, and then eventually become the king. All right, those guys are at peace. But I don't want to piss off Rodok in, you know, in doing so. I want them to be a friend. All right, who wants to become a slave? Wow, look at this. Yeah, why not? I'll help these guys. Who are they accompanying? This guy? Let us accompany. And we'll just let time pass. The Serenid and the Vagers have a non-aggression treaty. Are you guys going to, um, you know, actually f fight? There we go. I wasn't asked to come here, but I should get some renown for this. Now, see, I was told that I can change this in the camp menu. I'll show you that after this. And I did, but I it's still giving me this limited troops, not my entire party. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, let's get rid of the uh, slave guys, because those are cavalry. Manhunter. Slave driver. Okay, so we'll grab our infantry. Hired blade.
Grab all the swords. There we go. Ready troops. Join in, in the next assault. Let's take this fort, people. Whoa, this is a steep hill. Oh my god. Archers, let's get you in the courtyard, guys. Oh man, that's that's a lot of bad guys. I'll follow you guys up. Oh, good God, man! All right, all right. You guys want to? You guys want to have fun, huh? Yeah, yeah. And Yatsa, right in the face. Aha! In the face. Who's left? I'm actually pretty low. I should pull out the shield here. Let's see, we lost two. Alright. Oh, no wounded, they were all killed? Alright, that makes sense, I guess. I didn't bring any of my slave guys and I wasn't exactly taking names. Does that make it sense? I don't think that makes sense. Okay, did we get renowned from that? Well, our relations with a lot of people increased. That's something, I, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, the camp menu. Mod options. Like, I have this up to 400. The thing is, though, it says record the battle size you have set in the normal game option screen so that the pre-battle deployment works correctly. Uh, the thing is, in the normal option screen, it only goes up to 150. So, like, is this supposed to over override it? I wonder if maybe because there were so many parties involved in that battle, maybe that's why I was still limited? I don't know. I don't know. What is this? Enable AI special orders allows the AI teams to use volley fire, skirmish mode, and spear bracing. Only I... Um, yeah, sure. That sounds kind of cool. Troops of allied parties under your command will not be assigned to your customized divisions, but to the default infantry, archer, and cavalry divisions. Oh, okay. I mean, is there just something I'm missing? No? Hmm. Okay. Done. No prisoners at all, but we did help the Rodox gain a castle and a town. So I guess that's something. None of my guys even leveled up. Boo. Oh wow. Well. Whoa. Ho oh. ho. Um. Buddy. Man, even with our help. That would be a tough fight. They have 53, so that would be 208 versus like, what, 160 something? Uh, What's the quality of troops we're talking here? 
So they have 32 mercenary swordsmen. That's pretty tough. 31 level 2 infantry. What about our allies? Oh, that's just so risky, man. Ah, no guts, no glory. Know what I'm saying? Oh, man, then someone else came in. Oh, boy. Oh, but it's not in this fight. Okay, cool. Very cool. This is possible. We can do this. Alright, we're gonna have archers... Top of the hill, infantry, bottom of the hill... No, 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 don't, don't advance, guys, don't advance, oh, shit, alright, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Archers will advance right there. Cavalry, charge! Take out the cav! What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Oh, no! No! And I'm stuck with this stupid camera shit again. Oh, this is not good. My infantry is just going to sit there. And my cab is just going to continue to charge until they're all dead. No, my infantry should be assisting. I think my archers are done. Uh, gone. Damn. Man, knocked out in the very beginning again. Who knows, maybe my soldiers will win this for us. Heck, maybe these guys will win it. So here comes the next wave of soldiers, but I think most of their infantry is pretty low quality. So we'll see how they do. Man. One hit. I didn't even think I saw a melee hit coming. Was it just like some random javelin or something? I didn't see what got me. Oh boy. My allies' infantry is being overwhelmed. Not good. And then here comes another wave of reinforcements from the enemy. I can see on the mini map. Oh boy. And here are my soldiers kind of all just spread out. Get him! Oh my god! Nice. Get them, soldiers. Kill them all. I think I can win this. With the infantry in a tightly packed square like this, well most of them anyway, I think they'll hold on. There's still some of our allies, peasants I guess. Get him! There go my slave hunters and man, or guys <laughs> my man guys you know man guys that's a that's a class 
Oh, this is terrible, though. They have a whole other wave coming. Oh, my poor Cav. They just have that order to charge. They're just going to get crushed. They got crushed. All right. Let's see how my remaining soldiers do. Yeah, get him. Man, I wish the rest of my infantry would have gotten in a tight formation like my initial group. Are they running away? What the heck? Oh, these guys are Oh, these are the mercenary swordsmen. Oh, my freelancer! Fight them, you bastards! What is this? Oh my god, you hired Blade! No! Yeah! Stick him! Yeah! Nice! Oh, right in the back! Get him in the back of the head! Back of the head! Stop running from him! Uh... This is silly, man. Oh, you know what? All right, that's enough. Continue. Um, let's just change the commander. And then charge the enemy. That's going to take so long. I don't, I don't even want to deal with that. Alright, uh, formation orders, stand closer, stand closer, uh, let's see, formation, that's not what I need, I need, where's the, here we go, let's do, shield wall, cavalry, go right there, Cavalry. Oh, I don't know. Ranks. Oh, can't form ranks. Okay. I want to eventually do it so that we have like a solid shield wall and then get the, some of those Rodok pikes behind and do like a, well, like a, a pike thing. All right, infantry. Nope, that's not the one I wanted. Advance. Cavalry go over here. Infantry charge. Cavalry charge. God, man. Alright, well, maybe we're in a situation where this battle won't take forever now. Everyone's at least charging. But yeah, that was just getting silly. Like, their infantry was just chasing our infantry, which was going around in circles, and I got tired of waiting. There we go. We win. Alright. Yes, we just saved your ass.
And then he thinks sh Shahad. What? No, it was, it was Verlin, man. Oh, well. Grant me the honors of war and do yourself credit. You fought well, you're free to go. There we go. I have been told that I should do that and not capture them. Especially if I don't need the money, and I don't need the money. Too bad I can't show their army the same courtesy. <laughs> I will capture them all. Oh, I can't. I'm out of room. You guys get to go free. Thank your lucky stars. Alright. Done. A large bag desert arrow. Ooh, throwing spears. Oh, and I'm still on uh, Sahad. Okay. Well, um... Let's give him those. What's his sword like? The Masterwork Crusader? Sure, you can keep that. Let's get you a horse. Okay. So now I go back to being Vrillin, right? Maybe? Jeremus, let us level you up, my friend. Let's do something. Intelligence. There we go. First aid, surgery, wound treatment. Thank you. Whatever, that doesn't really matter. I don't need you to be a good fighter. In fact, I shouldn't even take him into battles if I had the chance, I guess. Um... Although, would he still level up? I think he eventually would. Anyway, done. Not bad, we still have 93 soldiers. We can get more. Let's head up to Uxal. And just in time, the Serenades are now at peace with the Rodok Empire. Alright. Or Republic. Got one nice batch of prisoners before that happened, though. That's all they're worth? Get out of here. All right, more bread. All right, that's going to do it, everybody. I think we have done enough for this episode. <laughs> we have died twice, technically, on two different characters. Uh, so thanks for watching. I will see you next time. And we're currently not at war with anybody, so maybe I just continue to hunt bandits or get random quests from the Rodok people. Not sure yet. But again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.